Somebody say amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Oh, I want to see you look upon this place. Have a saint forever. I'm a saint forever. All streets of glory. Let me hear my voice. Here's a path.
But when it comes to prophecy, there are seasons and times. When it comes to warnings, there's places and Amen. seasons and times that God has for that press of people. Amen. Glory to God. So Peter spoke about a truth, but he also spoke about a present truth. Amen. The word for today. That's right. That's good. What we need today to open our eyes to the time we're living in. All right. You know, the God of this world, I mean, he, he loves to blind Amen. people's eyes Amen. and to be working and you not see him working. Amen. Be destroying your family right under your nose and you not even know it. That's right. Amen. But the word of God will sharpen you. It will open your eyes and you can spot the devil at a distance. I said you can spot him before it gets to your gate. Let on. But when he gets inside. Because once he gets inside, he's already doing damage then, isn't he? Amen. Praise God. But I believe God's word will, 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 will give us a vision. You know, David said, Thy word, O oh God, is a lamp to my feet. Amen. And a light to my path. Thank you, Lord. He not Lord. only lights up our feet right now, He lights up our path. We can see tomorrow, or next week, Amen. or next month. I believe that. Hallelujah. And we sit and say this coming. He told Ezekiel, said, Pick out a man among you and set him on the wall. Make him a watchman. And when he sees, Trouble coming. Yes. Enemy coming. Let him sound the alarm. And then we got most preachers today ain't got guts up to sound the alarm no more. Amen. They're too worried about what folks think. Yeah. Too worried about, about the pocketbook. Amen. Too worried about the popularity. Glory to God. And I'm talking about men with whoop like dogs. Right. Beat, strap, yeah. throw in prison, kill, head chopped off. Beat to death. Stone to death. Thrown in lion's den. Yep. Sometimes it worked. Sometimes it didn't. Thrown in the fire. Sometimes it burned them. Sometimes it didn't. We got a case of where it didn't burn them. Yeah. Amen. But it was one God's time. God just wanted to show him he could take the burn out of fire. Amen. He still can take the burn out of fire. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. Until God gets straight, he can still take Death out of a disease. Amen. Get over and get well. He can take death out of COVID. He can take death out of cancer. He can take death out of leukemia. He can touch the death that's in a disease and give you health and healing from that. Amen. He's still that kind of God. He took the burn out of he took the bite out of lions. In that oh, word. Glory to God. He's still God. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That's the one we got to believe in. For this hour we're living in to make a difference in this generation. Right. We've got to believe in the same God that took the burn out of fire. Amen. That he can do it again. Yeah. Glory to God. Take the bite out of a lion. Oh, Until God gets ready, the devil cannot destroy you. Amen. He took the death out of it. Yes, man. A car wreck. The devil set you up for a car wreck to kill you. God can take the death out of it. Hallelujah. God can expel Hallelujah. the death. Yes. He can pull back the spirit of death. Hallelujah. And let you tumble and roll over and destroy the automobile. You walk off. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Escape the hands of the enemy. Can you say amen? Amen. Is that kind of God? That's, God. that's the kind of God we got to preach. That's right. That's the kind of God that the real one amen. that this world needs to be. Glory. But we're facing as children of God. We're going to have to believe to overcome. Amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Overcome Satan. Overcome the devil. Amen. The Bible said, This is the victory that overcometh the world. Right. Even our faith. Amen. Even our faith, even our faith, That's right. our everyday faith, whatever comes, my faith is in God. Whatever I face, my faith is in God. Amen. Whatever I run into, my faith is in God. Amen. Whatever I breathe today, my faith is in God. Amen. Hallelujah! My faith is in God to live or die. My faith is in Him. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In 
you say amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I live and God, I die. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Don't you love him? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Shook it out of <laughs> Shall I love him today. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord. We give you praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord. We give you glory today. We give you praise. We honor you. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Thank you, Jesus. God. There's life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's spirit life. Jesus said, the let it kill it. And that's what we're getting a lot of this day and time is just the let Amen. But he said, the words I speak, they are spirit. That's right. And they're alive. Life. They're still alive in Jesus. Amen. That's right. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. But he said, the let it kill it. The letter kid, you got folks that knows this Bible theologian, doctor, doctor, this. They just go all through it and study through the Bible, but you don't feel a thing. No. Don't feel nothing. Amen. Amen. It's the truth. Thank you. You would hope you would, but you don't. It's the truth. You just don't feel any, no life in it. I believe the Word of God's got life in it. Amen. Amen. You can feel life. Amen. You can Amen. also feel death. Death. Amen. Right. Go to a funeral and fill out those dead. That death. <clears throat> the heaven was the Holy Ghost is life. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is Christ. Glory, it's glory. Jesus alive to us today. Amen. Amen. It's Jesus living in us and among us and with us and in us. Glory to God. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit of Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. It's the Ghost, the Spirit. He told him, he said, I'm with you now. But he said, in that day, come out the day of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Because he told him, he said, I'm going away. I won't leave you comfortable. So I'll come to you. He said, let a little while I see you, and then a little while I won't see you, because I go to the Father. But he said, I'll pray to the Father. He said, you're another comfort. Amen. Yes. Which is the Holy Ghost. He said, he'll abide with you. Yeah. Forever. He, forever. he said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Thank Boy, I'm with you always. Thank even at the end of the world. Talk Thank about the Holy Lord. Ghost. Grateful. He Lord. said, I'm with you now, Jesus said. But in that day of the Holy Ghost, I'll be in you. Amen. And said, you're going to know it's me. Because I've been with you. Amen. Praise God. So we know that Jesus come to church today. Amen. 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 We know that Jesus, Hallelujah. the Lord of glory, Hallelujah, the same in the world, the one that hung on the cross, the one that rose from the dead, the one that created this earth, gave us the breath we breathe and caused our hearts to begin to beat. He is here today, right here in the midst of us.
He's a liar. Amen. He can't do nothing but lie. And if we can always keep that, we stay ahead of the devil. I said we stay ahead of Satan. Amen. 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 As long as you believe it. See, that's what happened to Adam. That's what happened to Adam. And Eve. What happened to Eve, rather? The Bible said it was a woman, not the man, that transgressed. But what the woman did, she talked the man into. Thank you, Lord. But the devil got to Eve. And then Eve got to Adam. But they both suffered. They both got thrown out. Of God drove out of God's presence. And God put a flaming sword at the gate to mine the tree of life. It was in the garden. Of Jesus, the Lord told him, said, you need every tree when he made the man that he saw it wasn't a help meet for a man. He took a rib out, put a, put a man in a deep sleep, took his rib out and made a woman. And now she's born of your bone, flesh of your flesh. She shall be called woman. And he placed him in the garden. Now he said, male and female, he created them. Created Adam from the dust of the earth, formed him. And then breathed in his nostrils, he became a living soul. Put him in the garden and put him over everything. Made the animals and Adam named the animals. He had total authority. God made man with total authority. Gave him total dominion over the earth and the animals and everything in it. And then those that lost that dominion when they lost that fellowship with God. And those the same thing with us today. When you lose your fellowship, you lose your authority too. That's right. Amen. You lose that fellowship, you lose that authority and the devil knows it. The devil knows when you ain't got the authority you had last week. That's right. Or last year. Amen. He'll, he'll try to make a mockery out of it. Amen. I said he'll try to make a mockery out of it. We, we, we're to never explode it. I know Jesus said, come in and told me, said, Lord said, even the devils are subject to us. He said, don't rejoice because the devils are subject to you. I'd rather rejoice that your name is written in the book of life. So that's what you ought to rejoice about. Thank you, Lord. He said, I, Jesus, first he said, I beheld Satan and fallen like lightning. I cast him out like lightning. He fell like lightning. Thank you, Jesus. He said, don't rejoice because you, you, the devil's a subject to you. But rather that your name is written in the Lamb book of life. But you know, some preachers try to make a spectacle and make themselves something, casting out devils. And there's nothing ain't our power, no him. It's his. He gives it to us. But he said, Don't rejoice, or Satan, the devils are something to you, but brother, rejoice that your name is written in heaven. That's what y'all rejoice about, Amen. what you say. That's, that's the main thing, isn't it? That you're ready to meet God. That it's well between you and Jesus. That's what we should rejoice about. That's right. Though the devils are subject to us in Jesus' name. But don't rejoice about that. Rejoice that your name are written in the Lamb Book of Life. Can you say amen? amen. Turn with me to the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 18. How many appreciates the word of God today? Amen. Amen. Reading from the first verse. Chapter 18 and 1. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah from the Lord. And that knows that's what we need in our generation. Amen. The word of the Lord. Came to Jeremiah. 
And that's what this generation needs in God's Word. Amen. We don't need all this uh, modern day watered down, sugar coated right. preaching. We need the Word of God. Amen. Just like it came to Jeremiah. But I know it cost him something. It cost Elijah something. It cost Elisha something. It cost Jeremiah. Threw him in the sewer up to his neck. There were stones sawed asunder, the Bible said. They stoned Paul and left him for dead. All because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. You know, some people say, well, uh -oh. preachers don't get persecuted like they did in the Bible. I said, well, they're not. Most of them ain't preaching like they did in the Bible. Persecution comes when you stand up for truth. The one thing about persecution brings revival, and revival brings persecution. Jesus said the world loves its own. He said, because you are not of the world, said the world's going to hate you. So if you are the world, the world will love you. Because the world loves its own. You know, we want everybody to love us. And a lot of people, that's what's happened to a lot of preachers. They're compromised to get folks to like them and love them. They can't stand being shunned for the word of God. But these, these men in the Bible went to jail. They were strong, sawed asunder. Stoner left for dead. Well, they stoned Paul. Thought they killed him. Bible said he was left for dead. But he got up. Whether he was dead or not. Could have been. Bible don't really say said he was left for dead. So they did everything they could do to kill him. Whether he died or not. Whether God kept him alive or raised him from the dead. He went on with his ministry. Either one. You know, the Bible said in Mark 16, they went everywhere. God working with them. With signs following. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise, go down to the potter's house. And there will I cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house. And behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again. Another vessel has seen good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, said the Lord. Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hands, O house of Israel. At what instance I shall speak concerning the nation? And concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it. If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do to them. And at what instance I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to build. And the plan is, if it do evil in my sight, that it, it obey not my voice, then I will repent of the good. Wherewith said I would benefit them. Now go to speak to the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Said, Thus said the Lord, Behold, I pray evil against you. 
devise a device against you. Return you now, everyone, from his evil way. Make your ways and your doings good. But you let us pray. Father, thank you for your word. We ask you to bless it in our hearts today. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we ask you to move in our nation. Turn this nation around. God, help us. God, we in a time of trouble, chaos, all across this nation and around the world. Send us Holy Ghost revival. Send us an outpouring of your spirit. Amen. Awaken this generation. Lord, let your call go out to stir, to awaken, send conviction, change this generation, Lord. Cause men to fall upon their knees and repent. In Jesus' name. Let everybody say amen. 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 I read here in the book of Jeremiah, where the word of the Lord, he said, the word of the Lord came and told him, he said, what an instance. He said, if I speak evil to a nation, heaven knows repentance causes God to repent. We, we read another story in the Bible about Jonah. How that repentance moved God to change his mind. And he believes that prayer will change things. You've heard that saying. Prayer changes things. That is true. Glory to God. Prayer changes things. But he sent Jeremiah down to the potter's house. And that potter, he wanted to speak to Jeremiah and give him a word for the nation. Potter was making a pop on the wheel. Now I've been to those countries where they still make pops out of mud and water and they spin it with the feet, that old spinning wheel. And to see how precise they have to be and how gentle they have to be making that pop. They stick their hands in water and they smooth it and they stick their hands in mud and, and in water. They know what they're doing, building it up, making that vessel that can be put on the market and to sell. It takes a master to be able to do that. Just anybody can't jump up and pick up, get on a potter's wheel and get down and make a pot. Wouldn't know where to start. Make a mess of it. And I saw how precise they was making those pots on that old wheel. Jeremiah, as the Lord told Jeremiah, said, go down to the potter's house. I want to speak to you. So he saw that potter making that pot. And it become marred. Some of the pots come out crooked. They have to crush them and make them again. Or crush them and turn them back in the mud and make them again. Amen. And he saw that that pot was marred in the hands of the potter. God began to speak to Jeremiah and said, Oh, can I do the house of Israel? What the potter did, he broke it. And the Bible said, He made it again into another vessel. That pleases his eye. I don't particularly want to be broken. But if it comes down to it, I'd rather run the break me, me, remake me than throw me in a scrap pile, wouldn't you? Amen. I'd rather him to break me and remake me than to throw me in the scrap pile. Amen. Because you know, that's what Judas, that took that money when Judas betrayed Jesus, that bought the potter's field. Well, that's what the potter's field was. The potter's field went through all those scrap pots that couldn't be remade or made over again. Right. And there, that's where they buried Judas. Up, was in the potter's field. Reverend 
presenting a vessel that couldn't be made no more. You know, went out and hung yourself. But they buried him at a potter's field, a place where they put scrap pots that you couldn't make over again. But he said, oh, Jeremiah, can I do the house of Israel? He said, when they're marred in my hands, when a man's marred in my hands, and when a nation is marred in my hands, can I remake it again like this potter remade the pot? That means I felt like, God, I need you to make me again. I need to save me. Amen. Lord of God. Lord, just let me go back and get resaved again. Feel that feeling I felt when I first got saved. Amen. Well, that first feeling, that was that first love. Thank you, Lord. And he didn't tell us in the book of Revelation to go back and get resaved again, but he did say repent, didn't he? He said, I've got somewhat against you. You have left your first love. He said, repent and do your first work over, lest I come and remove your candlestick out of its place. Man. The one thing about it, when you recognize that you've fallen away, you recognize that that first love, how many remember that first love when you first got saved? And it wasn't nothing but Jesus, Jesus, Man. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus in the morning, Jesus at noon, Jesus at night. He didn't want to talk about nothing but Jesus. He didn't want to talk about nobody that was so wrong. And it was just still wrong. But you knew it because you had that love of God in your heart. You had just been saved. You had just been transformed. You had just been made a new creature by Jesus. And you had his love in your heart. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And those, as you go on, if you ain't careful, you don't stay on your knees. You'll lose and you'll fall away. Or you'll leave it like the Bible said. Said you left it. You left your first love. Said repent. Go back to it. There's one thing about it. You ain't going to please God without. With the love of God in your heart. You can't minister. And those you can't fully minister Jesus. When you don't have his love in your heart. Glory to God. True. You'll go too far one way or another. You will minister without compassion. Minister without compassion. You don't reach the heart of people. You've got to have compassion. You've got to have the feeling. The Bible said, Jesus, we have not a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Whatever we're going through, Jesus can be touched with it. And to really care for somebody, you have to be touched for somebody. Yes. Amen. You have to be touched with the feelings of what they're going through. And you know, a lot of times, uh, God allows us, I believe, to go through things to help us to minister to others. Amen. Amen. I believe that. He allows. And a lot of times, before people go through something to sell, they ain't got no mercy on nobody. And I guarantee he knows how to teach you mercy. He can drop you in a hole somewhere and pull the lead on you and leave you down in there. Place. He said, I'll let you out when you change. When you break through, I'll let you out. He may not tell you that word, but you know you're there. And you know you better get a hold of God to get out of that mess, to get your spirit straight. And when he comes back and pulls that lid and says, are you ready now? Yes, sir, I'm ready. And I don't think you are. You didn't answer me right. You pushed the lid back on you. Let you stay in there a little while longer until you really get out of the business. Who knows that all God has to do is back off from you. And you just let you walk by yourself for a while. And it, it puts you to prayer. It puts you in desperation. You'll get somewhere and say, look, God, I can't take this. i got to feel your presence. i got to feel you, Lord. I need you to talk to me. Amen. He knows how to get our attention. So he said, I've got someone against you. You've left your first love. He said, repent. It's impossible for us to be a soul winner without the love of God. Amen. You're right. The people you run into, you've got to love them beyond their attitudes. You have to learn to love beyond, beyond. how people treat you. It's a whole lot better to get along with folks than to have odds. 
You know, Jesus taught us. He said, blessed are the peacemaker, didn't he? Blessed are the peacemaker. Not the peace breaker, but the peacemaker. To be right with God, we've got to be right with one another. That's right. Amen. I said to be right with God, I know if that ain't easy to swallow. Because there's some people we don't maybe don't want to be right with. Because of the attitude, the way they taught you, of uh, uh, treated you. But to be really right with God, we got to do our best. You know, the Bible said, live peaceable with all men, right. with everything within you. Amen. That's right. I mean, if somebody just won't, won't let you live peaceful with them, you be peaceful yourself. <laughs> you not respond. Praise the Lord. That's right. We have to learn not to respond. Because it draws us in to the same thing they're doing. Amen. You wind up guilty Amen. when you're blaming it all on them. But if you're allowed to draw you into it and you respond in a negative way back at them, just because they started don't mean you're not guilty too. Right. Live peaceable with all men, the Bible said. Whatever thing is within you. Sometimes it's hard to do people in this world today. But the Bible said do it. In fact, he went on and said love your enemy. That's right. Not just your brother. He said love your enemy. He said do good to them that mistreat you. Pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. He went on and said you know what he said about that? He said that you may be the children of your father which is in heaven. He said, hey, if you want to be much, child, this is how I want you to act. If you want to be my child, then I want you to act like this. I want this to be your pattern of living. Treat people. Love your enemies. Do good to them that mistreat you. Then to spite for loot, persecute you, use you, pray for them. That you might be the children of your father. Thank you, Lord. That you makes it to rain on the just and the unjust. Can you say amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. But he said, I am somewhat against you. Repent, he said. Do your first work over. You've left your first love. I'm telling you, it's so important to have that tender brokenness. God said, I am near those that's got a broken and a contrite spirit. To be in God. To live for God. And for God to use us. And we've got to live the life. Amen. That's right. There's a life we've got to live. A separated. Amen. Come out of her, my people. Separate from the world. Thank you, Lord. He said, Father, I don't pray that you take them out of the world. But you keep them from the evil. Let them live in the world. Let them be lights of the world. But keep them from the evil. Don't take them out of the world. Let them live. Let them be my representative. Let them be, let them be my ambassadors. Amen. Of Thank Christ. You, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Oh, Amen. Jesus, Lord. But Paul. But Jeremiah said here. Said it. God spoke to him and said if I speak. Concerning the nation. I want to get into this some. Um, I talked to a couple of people about it. That when the old year went out and a new one came in, something happened. God have mercy. I hadn't fully grasped it yet. God, I believe he will reveal it to me. But something happened. My spirit became disturbed. Man. I began to think one way. I began to think another. I even thought God has a miracle cross. The point of no return. Has a miracle cross the line of judgment. Let me tell you folks, this is a wicked age we're living in. Yes, it is. Amen. Yes, it is. 
Wickedness has been promoted by the government, by churches, by preachers. Promotion and the cry that the word of God, he said, cry aloud and spare not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. Most preachers are just motivated. Motivating the speakers. Just motivating the people how to get rich. How, how better this and better that. Better this and better in this life. Let me tell you what. It ain't about what we got in this life. It's like Jesus said there. He said, don't rejoice. Because the devils are subject to you. He said, rejoice that your name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. See, that ain't the most important thing. It's about motivating people how to become millionaires. Teaching people how, step by step, how to invest. And they spend all these classes in, 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 in investment, teaching them how and where to invest. They hire psychiatrists and, and they hire uh, comedians. They hire psychiatrists for folks going crazy. They hire comedians to try to make them laugh and keep them happy. But in the real Holy Ghost, you got all this. You got wisdom. You got the gifts. You got the wisdom. You got the power of the Holy Ghost. You got the joy of the Holy Ghost. But they're substituted with man's wisdom. They hire comedians to come in. These big churches, they got comedians on the staff. They got Psychiatrists on the staff. When people used to gather in altars and pray, God would stand up and give them the answer. Amen. Drive back evil. But now they're totally dependent upon what man can do. The Bible plainly tells us that, that curses the man that leans on the arm of the flesh. Whose heart has departed from the Lord. When a generation leads on flesh. I mean churches. Pentecostal so called holiness churches. When you lean on flesh. Your heart has departed from God. Amen. It comes right on down to us. There ain't none of us spared. The word of God ain't to just to them. It's to us. I'm preaching to us this morning. Amen. 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 I said, God's talking to us right here. Amen. But he reached his way out. He said, Curse is a man that leans on the arm of flesh. How knows you can get used to leaning on flesh and you'll back off from leaning on God. You start trusting in flesh, trusting in flesh. And you'll wake up one day and find that your whole trust ain't in God anymore. But he said, Curse is the man that leans on the arm of flesh. Listen. Whose heart has departed. We better fight to get back. Right. Yes. It's time to get prayed through. Get somewhere and pray and say, God, I want to come back. Be like the prodigal son. Lord, I'm coming out of this old pit. I'm coming out of this curse. Lord, I'm coming out of this. I want to come home. I want to repent when I get there and say, Father, I've sinned against heaven. I've sinned against thee. It's time for returning to God everywhere. Lord. Back to holiness. Back to God. Back to prayer. Back to fasting. Back to reading the Bible. Get Amen. back to God. Lord he God. said you left your first love. Repent. He said to do your first work over. Amen. Go back. Remember how you got saved. That's what he meant. You repented. Amen. You were godless sorry. You were wept. And, oh, you was in bad shape. Broken. Broken. Knew you were lost and on the road to hell and you were so broken. And you know what? God met you to altar. And you rose from that altar a new creature. Amen. Amen, Amen with victory. Yes. You Amen. rose from that altar. That's what he said. Go back and do it again. Amen. Go back and repent. Go back and say, God, I'm sorry. Keep coming back till it happens. You know, that was time before kept used to do Anybody want the Holy Ghost? Somebody raise their hand up in two or three. Come on. They lead you. Stay there with them. Tarry. They tarry with people. Amen. That's a thing of the past. Yes, it is. Folks ain't got time to tarry. 
Because the shaft let on you. Amen. He was so caught up. I'm talking about two, three, four o'clock in the morning all night. Tired with folks. To get the Holy Ghost. They taught it. Is it you got saved. Anybody need, ain't got the Holy Ghost. They stick that. Come on. They get them all up there. You need it. It was drilled in the head. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost to be able to overcome. You need to be baptized with the Holy Ghost. It's like now it's salvation, the Holy Ghost, and the whole thing is just mingled in. And all you got to do is join the church and you got everything. Most preachers don't even know how to make an altar call. They don't even tell folks you need to come and kneel or repent. That's right, man. They just say, come join the church. No leading to, to teach people how to be saved. Come to God and believe. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You must be born again. Not join the church. I think what the Bible said. The Bible said you must be born again. Amen. Yes. You got to be washed in the blood. That's one way to heaven. is by the blood of Jesus. Yes. And it ain't joining the church. It's been washed in the blood. Yes. It's repenting of your sin. Yes. In godly sorrow. Of your own. Amen. People ain't taught to do that. They, they, they go through the rich, but they're never really sorrowful enough to get out and weep. Folks that mess up, they be in the altars, the next service. Amen. Just weeping and bawling and squalling. It being cursed them. That's it. Go on with the Lord, son. Just go on. It's forgiven now. Thank you, Lord. He was encouraged. But now they don't even give altar calls. They just say, come and join the church. And some of them don't even say that. You just come to church and they count everybody saved. Nobody's lost anymore. I wish everybody was saved. They teach it for Jesus. Once you understand that Jesus paid for your sins at the cross, that's it. Bible said, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Jeremiah said, Call upon me. I'll answer you. I'll show you great and mighty things. Prayer changes things. Thank you, Lord. Repentance moves God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. But we're in an hour. The folks are not even taught how to be saved. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and who said believe in him should not perish, he said, but have everlasting life. God said not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Thank you, Lord. Salvation is in Jesus and Jesus alone. Amen. By his shed blood. Amen. We've got to come to him humbly. Repent. That's how you're saved. You repent of your sins. You become godly sorrow. You call on the name of Jesus and he'll answer your prayer. He'll forgive you of your sins and he'll wash you in his precious blood. Precious Lord. You too will be born again. You'll become a new creature in Christ Jesus. Precious Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. You think, well, why do you have to preach that so much? Because they're leading people in another direction. People's got to be directed back. That's right. In the direction how to really be saved. You know, everybody used to know how to get saved. You would just talk one way. You come to the altar. You come and repent. You call on Jesus. And we'll pray with you. And we'll pray till you get through. Amen. Amen. There's such a falling away. Glory to God. And a degrading. Of the way it's supposed to be done. Amen. Be merciful, Lord. We need an old fashioned Holy Ghost conviction to fall, to break men, to bring men back to their knees. Amen. Amen. Cause men to fall on their knees and fill up the altars. Amen. In them old fashioned revivals, sinners would come in and fill the altars. People just weeping all across the altars. Godless sorrow. That on the altars, come if you're lost. Come and be saved. Come and kneel. And tell them if you ain't got strength enough, just raise your hands. We'll lead you there. Amen. 
They'd raise their hands and people would grab them by the arm and lead them. Or they'd reach over and see somebody under conviction. They'd come on and say, come on, it's time for you to go. And people worked in the altars. They worked. They worked and they filled the altars. Hallelujah. They had a burden. They prayed during that day. God sent some souls here tonight. Saved some people tonight. Amen. That was what it was about. Hallelujah. Saved some people tonight. Glory Not God. some seminar how to get rich. Or some seminar how to buy property. And how to set it with a... With a Make money off of it. But how to get souls saved? It's time to turn back to God. Amen. Amen. Churches just fell away. It's time for an awakening. I thought about Jeremiah. Where he said there. He said of a nation. God speaks good to a nation. So I'm going to send you a revival. Thank you, Lord. So if that nation turns from doing good and doing evil, he said, I'll take the good I spoke away. And I'll send it evil. And those are, that's what the scripture says. Amen. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, O house of Israel, can I not do this with the potter? Has done, said the Lord, behold, the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. And knows we the clay, and he's the potter. Amen. Amen. And then whether God to remake you, then I'll throw you in the scrap pile. Amen. 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 God remake me. Remold me, Lord. Like the potter, remake the pot. Amen. Remake me. Thank you, Jesus. Into a vessel. That you can use. See that marred pot was crooked. And he couldn't put it on the market. Couldn't use it. They had to rebreak it. He rebroke it and put it back in the mud and made another vessel. Thank you, Lord. He said, Can I do my people like this? At what instant I shall speak concerning the nation, verse 7. Concern that kingdom to pluck up and to pour down. And to destroy it. If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil. I will repent of the evil that I thought to do to them. He's just letting us know. Look, if there's evil spoken, if I speak judgment, repentance can change it. Thank you, God. He's saying, Thank you, my Lord. if my people, which are called by my name, would humble himself and pray and seek my face. Amen. Do what? Turn from their wicked ways. Then when I hear from heaven, I'll forgive their sins and I'll heal the land. Oh, merciful God. That still stands today. Do you believe? Amen. I said, how do you believe that still Amen. stands? Glory to God. Amen. If my people were to call by my name, he didn't say how many. To humble himself and pray and seek my face and turn. Four things. Turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins. And I'll heal the land. Thank you, Lord. I believe he's that kind Thank of God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. But you know what preachers preach today? God loves people too much to send judgment. Amen. And judgment is everywhere right now. They're blind and don't realize that judgment is in the land. Right. God is judging this nation. Amen. He's judging this nation. It's been turned over to homosexuality. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. Amen. Everywhere. Even churches are accepting it. Mm. Accepting couples, men and women. The preachers don't have no backbone. They're backing off and leaving this alone and leaving that alone because it ain't popular anymore. Even the Pentecostals used to be strict in a lot of ways. They're backing off and backing off because it's not popular. People start leaving to find them a church that's suitable to their sinful life. That's right. Amen. What is a church if you're going to bow and become suitable for people living in sin right. to feel like they're saved? When he 
said, call out in Sparta. Mercy. Thank you, Lord. Not too long ago in Mobile, they had a... It was, people starting a church, they put it in the paper and said, asking the people what kind of church did they want. I thought, boy, that ain't God. And if it ain't Bible church, if it ain't lined up with the Word of God, a praying church, a fasting church, and a clean living church, and a holy living church, it ain't no church. Amen. 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 It's a mockery. I said it's a mockery. If it ain't a Bible preaching, if it ain't coming out of the word of God, it's a mockery. Yes, it is. But they asked him what kind of, they was telling them, they didn't say we were having a prayer meeting, we're going to be a praying church, or we're going to take the first week in this, over in this church, and we're going to have prayer meeting every night. They were saying we got a uh, coffee. Before every service, we got we got uh, hors d'oeuvres. Before every service, come in and enjoy yourself. That's the kind of church. They was asking, "What kind of church do you want?" Well, as I'm concerned, name but one kind. That's a Jesus church, one that follows the Word of God, and the rest of them are mockers, and they'll be judged by God. Hallelujah. And if there's ever been a time we that love God and love the truth, stand up. Amen. I know we're facing something. We're going to be greatly persecuted for it's over. Amen. If we stand for God, Amen. but stand in Him. That's the only thing to do is preach the truth. You ain't going to preach the truth. Don't preach it all. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. I said, if you don't preach the truth, don't preach it all. Amen. Don't help somebody go to hell. Try to help somebody get to heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. There's such a compromise, and they set out everything going on, Starbucks, McDonald's, Amen. weightlifting classes. Uh, that doing. Weight loss classes. They got everything going in the churches. Everything in the world got going. They brought it right in. It's a sanctuary of hell. Is what it is. It has become a sanctuary of hell. The Bible said every foul, hateful, and unclean bird. That's spirits. Amen. It's time to return to God. Time to wake up. Get back to the altar. Get to pray. I mean, you can get you can get all this stuff going. Weightlifting classes, weight loss classes. Then you're getting it started. People come from everywhere. You start saying we gotta have prayer, folks. They holler nobody show up. We gotta meet and get a hold of God. No, weight lifting, weight loss. Teach you how to be an entrepreneur. How to buy and sell. They'll show up from everywhere. Interesting. All oh, this is interesting. But praying and fasting is not interesting anymore. Well, that's where the power of God comes. Come Amen. That's how we're seeing the power of God. We prepare our hearts. Amen. We repent. We see ourselves. And we empty out. And God moves in and begins to move. Thank you, Lord. He refreshes us. He anoints us. God help us. In this generation. Amen. Have mercy on us, Lord. Amen. Merciful God. Have mercy on us. We need revival. Amen. We need an old fashioned revival. Amen. I said we need an old fashioned outpouring Lord of the God. Holy Ghost Amen. that will bring men to their knees under conviction Amen. to Thank repent Lord. of their sins. Thank you, Lord. Most of us become so much flesh. They rule, they rule as kings. Jesus said, I didn't come to be served, but to serve. Amen. Most of these churches, they, they want to be served. They want folks to serve them. They want to be like kings. They want to set like kings Amen. in their roles. 
But Jesus said, Woe be unto you, Pharisees, Sadducees, hypocrites. He kept on in that entire chapter of the book of Matthew. Woe be unto those. Love the praises of men and not God. They'd rather for men to praise them than for God to be pleased with them. But have knows if God's pleased with you, you're going to be crying out the word of God. Amen. You're going to be lifted up a standard yes. of truth. Amen. You're going to be teaching people to pray and to fast Amen. and seek God. It's all about faded out, folks. But God's word never dies. Amen. He's always going to have a remnant. He's got a remnant today. Always have a life. Thank you, Jesus. And you know, God can take that one seed, plant a row, a plant a hill, take that one hill, plant a row, take that road, plant a field, take that field, plant the world. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. God can do it when he gets ready. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm believing for our old fashioned Holy Ghost revival. Oh, God. Can you say amen? Oh, thank you, Lord. I'm believing for God's mercy to look on yes. us one more time. Thank you, Lord. And give us an old fashioned thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost revival. Thank you, Lord. We need it, folks. Amen. We need it. Amen. If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from the evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do to them. And those that prayer changes things. Amen. He said, if I speak judgment on the nation, if that nation won't get on their knees and humble itself, I'll repent. Thank you, Lord. And I'll give them mercy. But he said, if that same Is that nation against whom? And what is it I shall speak concerning the nation, concerning the kingdom to build, to bless, to plant it? If it do evil in my sight, that I obey, that they obey, that they obey not my voice, then I will repent of the good wherewith I would benefit. He said, even if I prophesy good and they turn and do evil, he said, I'll take away the good. And I'll send evil. Amen. And those God's word is, is, is you've heard it set up to the conditional. Amen. 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 God's word is conditional. Amen. I mean, you don't just stomp on God's word and expect him just to. Like preachers, oh, he just loves you too. He, oh, he just loves you so. He, he just loves you too much to, <laughs> to judge you. No, he don't. <laughs> That's part of his love. I just read it in the Bible. But they preach, oh, he just, he, he just, he just loves you too much to send judgment. They say, God don't send judgment. That's just mother nature. That's just, just the way things are. That's just life. No, it's God's judgment. God judgment. And there's a God is judging this whole world. Amen. Amen. But he said, if I send judgment, if the people repent, I'll repent of the evil I thought to do. And I'll send you good. He also said, if I speak good to a nation, and that nation turn into evil, I'll take the good away. And I'll send evil. Can you say amen? amen. Blessed say you love him. Yes. Amen. You appreciate him. Thank Lift you your Lord. hands to him. Precious Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, my Lord. Precious Lord. Now, therefore, go to speak to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus said the Lord, Behold, I frame the evil against you. Devise a device against you. Return ye now. Everyone from his evil way. And make your ways and your doings good. Make your ways and your doings good. Thank you, Lord. They said there is no hope 
but we will walk after our own devices and we will everyone do the imagination of his evil heart. I know just what's going on now. No one walking in his own way. Preaching don't move most folks. Everybody walking in their own direction, their own imagination. The word of God don't move them. They're doing their own thing. Every church, there's hardly no fellowship. Everybody going their own way, doing their own thing. Amen. They hold their own people. Amen. They won't allow them to go nowhere. They rule their lives. They rule them. And that's flesh rule. That ain't God. The Holy Ghost rule. That's flesh thing. That's right. Therefore, thus said the Lord, ask ye now among the Hebrews who have heard such a thing. The virgin of Israel has done a very horrible thing. Will a man leave the snow of Lebanon, which cometh from the rock, the field, or shall the cold flowing waters that come from another place be forsaken? Because my people have forgotten me. They have burned incense to vanity. And they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient past. See, they've turned folks away from the old past, from the ancient ways, to walk in paths in a way not cast up. And they've been brought up to make their land desolate and a perpetual hissing. Everyone that passes Thereby shall be astonished and wag his head. People see, even sinners see the church and the shape it's in. Mm -hmm. Church is how they backed up from the old path. Amen. Their mothers and their grandmothers taught them. Now maybe they're not saved, but they know the difference in what's real and what's not real. They turn from the old path. You know the Bible says, stand you in the way. Seek and ask for the old path, which is a good way, and walk therein, Amen. and you shall find rest for your soul. Amen. Jeremiah also said the prophets prophesied falsely, and said the priests bear rule there, and said my people love to have it so. Amen. But what will they do in the end? Amen. And those were after, people have to answer to all this, mm -hmm. turn away from God. In the end. Mm -hmm. There will be a judgment day someday. Amen. Men will have to give an account. For the deeds we've done in this body. Whether they be good. Or whether they be evil. Amen. 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 I will scatter them as. With an east wind. Before the enemy. I will show them the back. And not the face. In the day of their calamity. Oh God. He said these are the people. In the day of their calamity. I'll turn my back. God, I won't God. show my face. In a generation that's turned. In a generation of preachers and churches. That's just dropped to stand it and drop. And this, this ain't popular no more. This ain't popular. And where they look at it is. They're going to get all the people. If we don't start letting them do this too. If we don't start letting them do that. So and so is going to get all the people. We're going to be left, our church is going to be left empty. So we're forced to do something. They have these big meetings and they talk all this junk. They're forced to, instead of just saying, stand, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Stand and preach the word. Let the word fall. Let the word do the root now. Amen. Let the word do the sifting. God will bring in a new crop. Glory to God. But to look at it as a natural thing. Like one company making a product and another making it. And they have to listen changes and get all the business. And they have to make a change too. That's what churches are doing. Instead of saying stick with the word. Stay with Jesus. Stay with holiness. Stay, stay with prayer. Stay with fasting. Stay with the word. Let God do this. We can't work this out. God has to do that. The Spirit has to work. There's times that things have to be 
they sift it out. They have to be a house cleaning sometimes. And one thing about God's word, it'll draw some, but it'll drive others. You can't hold on everybody. I wish you could. But you have to let the spirit do the work. That's right. You can hold and keep some folks in there and destroy more than they're good. You have to let the word do the work. The word will drive out. You know what what the Bible said? I know this thing. What I'm saying, but I know it's the truth. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that's spirit to the word. That's a good word. Good word. I know not everybody stayed with Jesus. Then right. disciples walked away. You know what drove them out? The word. Right. When Jesus began to say, I am the bread that come from heaven. I, you just eat my flesh and drink my blood. Amen. You can't even come to me except my father drove. And then the Bible said they packed their bags and walked no more with him. They left Jesus. Jesus turned around to the twelve and said, Do y'all want to go to? That ain't modern church, I promise you. Well, that ain't modern. That ain't modern church, but it's the gospel. It's the gospel. And this kingdom belongs to Jesus, Amen. not the Baptist or the Methodist right. or the UPC. Amen. This kingdom, Jesus bought it Amen. and purchased it with his own precious Thank blood. You, Lord. Thank it belongs to him. Hallelujah. And he's given us a word to preach. Thank you, Lord. To season it, Hallelujah. to build it up, to strengthen it, and also to sift it out, yeah. and to harvest it, Ooh. and to plant it, and to put rain on it, and to fertilize it. Glory but he also give a word to sift it out. Thank you, Jesus. Feel that word. Hallelujah. They turn and walk no more with Jesus. And Jesus said, Turbine 12, where you go to? Peter said, to whom shall we go? Right. Ain't nowhere else to go to. Nowhere to go. That's the way I look at it. Hell, My God, if you believe Jesus, where are you going to go? To hell? Yes. He's the only way. There ain't nowhere else to go. If you believe Jesus, there's nowhere to go. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Off in the religion. Thank you, Jesus. Hell nation. Peter said, to whom shall we go? If I ask the words of eternal life, we know and we are sure that you are the Christ. That's right. The son of the living God. Right. We are sure of that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, son of God. But he said, in that day, I'll turn my back. Thank you, Lord. And not my faith. Did you call the people to stumble? Heaven knows when that light ain't shining. He said to David, said, Thy word of God is a lamp to my feet, the light to my path. And when that light ain't shining, that word ain't being preached, the people begin to stumble in the dark. That's right. They can't see. That's right. Said you caused the people to stumble. <laughs> to make their land desert. And the perpetual hissing, everyone that passes thereby shall be astonished. And I will scatter them with an east wind before the enemy. And I will show them the back and not the face in the day of their calamity. Then said they, come and let us devise devices against Jeremiah. Let's, let's, let's talk about him. Let's kill his influence for the law shall not perish from the priests. We got preachers. We don't need to hear Jeremiah. We got a priest. And knows that's what folks are saying. We don't need to hear. We got a pastor. And knows they but one kingdom. And pastor is just one office. You got the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher. You got five offers. But we don't have to hear him. We got a pastor. Come and let us devise devices against Jeremiah. For the law shall not perish from the priest. Nor counsel from the wise. Nor the word from the prophet. Come and let us smite him with the tongue. Let's talk about him. See. Let's run down Jeremiah. Let's smite him with the tongue. Let's kill his in. Let us not give 
heed to any of his words. We got the priest. We got wise men. We don't have to listen to Jeremiah. You don't. And those that Jeremiah was God's mouthpiece. We don't have to listen to the word of God. We don't have to listen. That's what it is by the word of God. The day we're living in. We don't want to hear that. They don't want to listen to that. They want somebody to pet and pamper. Tell them they're covered. The blood covers you. It covers you when you repent. But there ain't no salvation without repentance. Amen. Right. Salvation is my repentance. Yes, but them teaching salvation without repentance. Jesus paid it all at Calvary. You just come on in. You believe it. That's it. You got to repent. Call on the name of Jesus. But it said, Come and let us smite him with a tongue. And let us not give heed to any of his words. Give heed to me. No, this is Jeremiah. Give heed to me, O Lord, and hearken to the voice of them that contend with me. He said, Lord, you hear what they're saying? They said, don't hear my words. My word is your words, Lord. Shall evil be recompensed for good? For they have did their pit for my soul. This is Jeremiah telling God, remember me that I stood before thee to speak good for them. Lord, I stood in the gap and I prayed for them. I spoke good for them. Now they're turned on me. They don't want to hear nothing I got to say. And to turn away thy wrath from them. Lord, I stood in the gap and turned your wrath away. Therefore, deliver up their children to the famine. Pour out their blood by the force of the sword. Let their wives be bereaved of their children and be widows and let the men be put to death and their young men be slain by the sword in battle. Let a cry be heard from their houses and then thy shout bring a troop suddenly upon them for they have digged a pit to take me and to hide and hides snares from my feet. Yet, Lord, thou knowest all their counsel against me to slay me. Forgive not their iniquities, neither blot out their sins from thy sight, but let them be overthrown before thee. Deal thus with them in the time of thine anger. This was a people that Evidently had crossed the line. This was the people that had crossed the line. When the new year came in, something happened. I don't fully know yet. Thank you, Lord. But I believe God will reveal it to me. Something has took place. I don't know whether it's America's crossed the line. I know I just read to the scripture where it said if he spoke evil and people repent, that God would repent. And, but if he spoke good and people turned and, and not do good to evil, then he take the good away. Amen. This is Bible. This is the scripture. Amen. Can you say amen? amen? But I really been feeling telling people to get a hold of God. Whatever. Get a hold of God. Get somewhere and pray. And it's really just time to touch God. Amen. It's time to touch God. Amen. Hallelujah. God brought back that vision of the tsunami I had about Mobile on the coast. I was running in Mount Vernon, coming up 43 toward Jackson at the red light. And water was sloshing at my feet. I look back, there was nothing but water slapped out into the gulf. I couldn't see a building, couldn't see a tree, couldn't see nothing. And I said, Lord, how far will I have to run? I was running. The water was sloshing. That's how close it was to me. He said, at least to Thomasville. 
And so on up 43, on through Jackson, on through Grove Hill, then Thomasville. And I looked back and I saw nothing but water. This is what I said. I said, oh, Lord, I wonder did my children make it out. Amen. I wonder did my children make it out. And there was a lot of children that didn't make it out. Two of them They went and wondered that God was fixed to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. They laughed at him. The son-in-laws and the daughters made mockery. And the angel told them to get out. I can't do nothing to you. He caught her with the hand and let them out. But Lot's two daughters and their son-in-law's family was left behind. And his other two daughters and his wife they took her by the hand and let him out. She got out there. The angel said, go and don't look back. You can't see what I'm fixing to do. When he went out there, his wife looked back. The Bible said she turned to a pillow of salt. And all that happened to Luke over there. Jesus said, 17th chapter of Luke, he was preaching along. He said, remember Lot's wife. Amen. What happened to her? He's telling us, don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back to this old world. Don't look, don't look, back. Don't look back. Go on with Jesus. Here. Seek him. Draw out of him. Return to him. Go back home. Amen. Rise like the prodigal son. Get back to Jesus. Waken yourself. Don't look back. Is what he's saying. The Bible said he did Puts his hand to the plow and looking back is not a fit for the kingdom. Remember Lot's wife today. Thank you, Lord. I know it's just time to get our eyes on Lord Jesus. God. Thank you, Lord. And not look back. I don't know all oh, what it is. Thank you, Lord. Whether that America's crossed that line. God, I pray, just give us mercy. Just give us mercy. But he said if we repent, he'd give us mercy, didn't he? I mean, that's plain. But you know, most preachers are preaching what they're preaching. They ain't doing nothing to repent of. But it's just full of the world. Everything that out of hell is in the churches. But that they still don't say nothing to repent of. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Lift your hands to them and tell them what we need you. Lord, Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet with me today. Hallelujah. Lord, I appreciate you, Lord. God, send us revival. Give us mercy. Lord, I don't know. God, Lord, I know that your wrath, your wrath and your judgments are in the land. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Whole city's been wiped out. Whole coastline's been wiped out. With tsunamis. God, have mercy upon us and send us one more outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Lord, be merciful to us, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, be merciful to us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, hear our cry. Lord, hear our repentance, Lord, as we stand in the gap and we cry out for mercy. Have mercy upon our families and our children. Oh, God, be Lord. merciful to us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Help your people, Jesus. Lord, help us to wake up and get a hold of God. Return, Lord. We can't wait for somebody else to return. We got to return. God, we can't wait for somebody else, Lord. We got to do it ourselves, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Merciful God. Oh, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Lord, we cry out to you today, Lord. Have mercy upon this generation. Lord, have mercy upon America, Lord. Lord. Give us mercy, Lord. Give us one more revival. Oh, Lord, don't judge us according to our sins, Lord. We wouldn't make it to sundown. Lord, if you judge us according to our sins, we wouldn't make it to sundown as a nation, Lord. We ask you for mercy. Lord, I know it's mercy and grace that you're giving us right now, a time period. Lord, you did speak to me a while back. And said, I'm sending the holy power to push back the Antichrist spirit. Amen. And give us your space to have oh, revival. God. Oh, God. Have mercy on us, Lord. Don't take that mercy away from us, Jesus. Jesus. Give us your mercy. Give us your grace, Lord. God, be merciful to us, Lord. Send us one more revival. 
Send us one more outpouring of the Holy Ghost and fire. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus, spare us. Spare little children. Oh, people, children, loved ones, spare them, Lord. Lord. Send us revival. Send us old fashioned revival. Yes. Send us an old fashioned outpouring of conviction, Lord, to draw me out of the streets and the highways and the hedges, Lord. Lord, it takes your conviction, it takes your spirit to move upon people. We ask you to move, Lord. Begin to draw, Lord. Give us that space of time to have revival. Lord, send that holy power in a greater way to drive back this Antichrist spirit. Lord, that's in this nation in Washington, D.C., in the Congress, in Senate, in the governor's houses, Lord, the county houses, the city houses, all this anti-Christ, anti-God. Oh, Jesus, help us today, Lord. Awake us to prayer and fasting. Awake us to call upon your name. Lord, awake us to repent. Do my first work over. You said, if my people which are called by my name, would humble himself and pray, seek my face, and turn from the wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. I forgive your sins and I'll heal the land. Oh God, we need you today. We need you today. Oh God, pray with me, people. We need you today, Lord. Call on His name. Call on His name. Oh, don't wait the trouble strikes. Call today. No, wait the trouble strikes. Call on Him today. Jesus, 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 help us, Lord. Jesus, be merciful, Lord. Jesus, save us one more time. Have mercy on this nation, Lord. God, have mercy on America. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Drive out these evil leaders out of Washington, out of the Congress. Drive them out of the Senate, Lord. Drive them. Lord, that old news media, that old antichrist news media, Lord, bring them down. Lord, bring them down. Shut them up, Lord. God, is spirit out evil. Spirit out antichrist spirit. Spirit out evil. God, we ask you to shut them down, Lord. Lord, I speak your word against this evil generation, this old news media. Lord, I speak your word against it. Let it crumble, Lord. Let it fall. Let it go down, Lord. Drive out of Congress and Senate. Drive out the White House, those antichrists. Lord Jesus, we need holy men. We need righteous men in the Congress and righteous men in the Senate. Lord, we need believers in the White House, Lord. Lord, we don't need antichrists. We need people that believe in God. Oh, Jesus, that will pray and call the nation to prayer and fasting. Lord, the president used to call the nation to prayer and fasting. Oh, God, these antichrists, Lord, don't want nothing to do with it. Drive them out, Lord. Let your word fall at their doorstep. Let your word fall on them, Lord, today. God, let your word fall on them and drive them, Lord. Drive them out, Lord. Drive out the Congress and the Senate. God, clear out the state houses and the, and the townhouses, Lord, the city houses, the county houses. Lord, God, we ask you to clear it out, Lord. Let your word fall on this Antichrist age and send us a Holy Ghost revival. Turn things around, Lord. Give us mercy and give us grace, Lord. Help us. Oh, God, I pray for your righteousness to reign in this earth. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let your will be done on earth, Lord, like it is in heaven today. Move, Lord. Pour out your spirit. Pour out the Holy Ghost and fire. Move by your mighty power. Lift up a standard, Lord. Let your ministers be refined. Stir your preachers, Lord. Stir your handmaids and servants. Stir your evangelists, Lord. Pastors and prophets and 
apostles, stir, Lord, your teachers. Wake them up, Lord, and let them flee. Lord, you said my ministers, angels will be ministering spirits, but my ministers a flame of fire. God, in Jesus' name, make us a flame of fire. Set our souls a flame. Set our hearts a flame. God, raise us up again, Lord. Recommission us, Lord. Refire us. Restore us. Revive us again, Lord. Move for your people, God. Shake us, Lord. Stir us, Lord. Get a hold of us, Jesus. Ah, oh, Jesus. Like the four lepers, why sit we here and die? Lord, let us rise. Let us bread in the camp, Lord. Let us go get it, Lord. Help us, Lord. Not to sit here and die. Stir us up again, Lord. Stir us again, Lord. Lord. Put the tents up. Brush harbors and porches and yards and living rooms. Tell houses and old folks homes. Wherever, Lord. The opportunity is let us fill that pulpit. God, let us fill the pulpit. Wherever they are, Lord. Wherever the open door is. God, in Jesus' name, help us today. Wake us and stir us. Put that love for your word, truth, yes. prayer, and fasting, Thank the Lord. that hunger, Lord. God, to get a hold of you. Hallelujah. You said, blessed are they that do hunger and thirst at the righteousness, for they shall be filled. Lord, Lord I appreciate you today, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, I give you praise Lord. today. God, I give you praise. Praise. Hallelujah. praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Very great one. Hallelujah. Praise Lord. Maybe you're watching today and you... Two more be stirred. I'm going to pray for you. If you're lost today, you ride down the road, just pull over and bow your head. And pray this prayer with us here in your home or somewhere you can get on your knees. Get on your knees. And we'll pray Lord to God. God today. Praise God. You, the Bible said, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be Thank saved. You, Lord. He'll save you today. Jesus died on an old rugged cross, and He'll save you. Your feet. While we pray thank today, you Lord, thank you, Lord. everybody pray with us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, I come to you, I come to you, ask you to forgive me, ask me to forgive me, Lord, for all of my sin, for all of my sin. come into my heart, come into my heart, and save my soul, save my soul. Wash, wash me, wash in your precious blood, in your precious blood, forgive me, forgive me, of everything, of everything, of ever done wrong. Be healed. Thank you, Lord. Be healed. 
in your body. Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord. Of all your sickness and thank diseases. You, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. Praise God. Lift your hands up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank Tell him you love him today. Amen. Tell Jesus you appreciate it.